All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. All right, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I had to come back to y'all with this one today, man. Uh, y'all hit that like button, share, and subscribe to the channel as y'all come on in. I have a breaking news update for you guys. I have two breaking news updates for you guys on this situation uh, with P. Diddy, Puffy Combs, uh, <clears throat> for you guys who don't know what's going on. First of all, uh, if you didn't catch the video we did this morning, make sure y'all go, go back and catch the other video we did today and the other videos we dropped on this channel as we have breaking news right now coming out from authorities on <clears throat> P. Diddy as according to the reports from Homeland Security officers, uh, officer, and I will, uh, Y'all make sure, hold on, let me know, can y'all hear me? Yo, press press one if y'all can hear me in the comments. I need to know if you, you guys can hear me before I get started. Press one. <clears throat> if you can hear me in the comments, press one. I, I need to make sure everybody can hear me on this. I don't want to get it start on reading this, and then I, I get started, and then everybody can't hear what I'm saying. Press one uh, if you guys um, can hear me on this. Press one. Y'all can hear me? Okay, good. All right, so... <clears throat> Let me let y'all know what's going on, man. It's pretty much over with, man. Uh, P. Diddy has had uh, people flip on him. According to the reports, uh, right now, Gene Deal uh, has just admitted that he is one of the informants on P. Diddy and that he is working. Is Homeland Security said the third? What you mean no sound? There's sound on here. What you mean no sound? What you mean no sound? No sound? Hold on, y'all. Hear me now. Let me know if y'all can hear me now. My bad. Let me know if y'all can hear me now. Let me know if we got sound now. Can y'all hear me now? Everybody in the chat, if you guys can hear me now, press one if y'all can hear me now. If y'all. Guys, I got cut off. I don't know what happened right there. Uh, Gene Deal is an informant for the police. Uh, he will be helping uh, the uh, feds to convict or to indict uh, P. Diddy Combs. He has just admitted that he, uh, once again, he has just admitted that he is working with the feds and he will testify against Sean Puffy Combs and give them any and all information they need to uh, complete a conviction on, on P. Diddy. Also, uh, he's also revealed that Cassie has cur is currently working with the federal agents as well. And she, they will also testify as well as Homeland Security officer has just put out a full report. And I will read you guys what they're saying. Now, a lot of people were saying P. Diddy came out and his uh, lawyer, and they were saying that the uh, raid was a, a witch hunt. And this thing was uh, all basically uh, just a witch hunt and they were all lies. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, according to reports and salute to everybody, who's watching this video, y'all come on in, hit the like button, share this video, like this video. Um, but I'm going to get right in here to, to this with you guys. So according to reports, man, um, an officer with the Homeland, with the Department of Homeland Security has now uh, came out and told the Post that the case has been active for several weeks. So I'm giving you guys specific details on what the actual officer from Homeland Security has just reported. The, the officer from Homeland Security has just reported that their case has been active for several weeks as authorities investigate a range of allegations made against the 54-year-old rap mogul. And I quote, this is the actual quote from the Homeland Security officer. Uh, he says, we believe that there is a disturbing history of blank trafficking, 
said the Miami-based officer, who also uh, said that we are responding. So somebody went and told on Puff Daddy. Uh, Gene Deal has just admitted again uh, in an interview that just came out today. He has just admitted again that he is 100% cooperating with the authorities against P. Diddy, and he will give them any and all information they need to complete a arrest and a conviction of Sean Puffy Combs. Also, he has also stated that um, Cassie, as well, uh, is Cassie, as well, he's saying, is um, cooperating with the federal agents as well and with Homeland Security uh, and the prosecution uh, and the uh, of Sean Puffy Combs as uh, according to the report now from Homeland Security. I'm going to say this again. You said sound. Yo, can y'all hear me? Press one. Hey, yo, y'all can hear me. Press one in comment section. Hit the like button or press one if y'all can hear me. Touch the like button. I can see the lights go up if y'all can hear me. Touch the like button or press one if y'all can hear me in the chat. This man's saying sound again, but he might be trolling. If he trolling, I'm, 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 okay, y'all can hear me? Y'all smash that like button as y'all come on in, man. Okay, so... Man, let me do this again, because this dude, right? Y'all dudes playing games. Please stop playing games. Okay, you said two. Well, let me block you, dog. Bye. Get out of here. Everybody said they can hear me. You blocked. Um, so, anyways, uh, as you guys are coming in, right? Gene Deal just came out again and said he is fully cooperating with the feds in their investigation. He said he will testify, and he is willing to testify, uh, and he's giving information He's giving information to the feds right now to help try to bring charges and convict Sean P. Diddy Combs on multiple crimes. Also, he has also just revealed that Cass uh, and cooperating with the feds right now, giving detailed information. Now, according to the officer from the Homeland Security, Department of Homeland Security, he has just came out and refuted the claims of P. Diddy lawyers that this is a whole sham, that this uh, investigation or, or, or the raid uh, basically is a witch hunt, and that is unwarranted. He, the officer has just came out and said, and I quote, P. Diddy, they have been investigating him actively for several weeks now. This just didn't start yesterday, but they have been actively investigating him for several weeks as authorities continue to investigate a range of allegations against Puff. Now, and I quote right here, the, the agent says, we believe that there is a disturbing history of blank trafficking, y'all use the word, it's the S word, said the Miami-based officer who uh, also spoke and said, we are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we follow, we're following up on. The public first became aware of the allegations of Diddy when his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, filed a federal civil suit against him in November of last year. That case was settled out of court the next day, but has been followed by three further lawsuits alleging blank assault, of which Diddy has strongly denied. He has also not been charged with any crime or wrongdoing at this moment. The officer stated, we became aware of certain allegations during the course of the civil suits against Mr. Combs, said the officer. He said again, the, the reason why P. Diddy is being investigated by the feds is because of the information that Cassie and that Rod released in the lawsuits because they were criminal. I'm going to read it again. The federal agent, the Homeland Security agent, right, stated, and I quote, I'm reading a quote from what he said. He said, we became of certain allegations during the course of civil suits against Mr. Combs, said the officer. You have to understand that we didn't just decide on a whim to search his homes. A federal judge had to sign off. This is not a witch hunt. 
On Monday, when Homeland Security agents raided Combs' mansion in both L.A. and Miami, they confiscated this. According, they confiscated hard drives, phones, and other evidence pertaining to this case. The officer told the Post that they are looking, and I quote, he said, they are looking for photos, emails, texts, itineraries, hopefully names. There are specific communications that we are aware of that we will be able to access on the electronics. Let me read that again with the, what the officer said. Diddy's done. And I hate to say this, but they snitched him out. His own people snitched him out. The people that was around him, they ratted on him. My boy 7-8 was talking about it in his video today. Y'all go check out his channel. The people that was around P. Diddy, they had money issues with him. And because they had money issues with him, they now ratted him out on other things and or they're saying making allegations on other things about him because they were upset over money. So the officer said again, and I want y'all to listen to what he said right here in this line. This is very important. He said the officer told the post that they were looking for photos, emails, texts, itineraries, hopefully names. There are specific communications. Listen, listen to this right here. There are specific communications that they are aware of. The officer said that we are aware of that we will be able to access on the electronics. Did he done? Did he done? That lets me know right there. That line right there let me know. With that being said, that Kathy probably gave the feds information that was passed through cell phone, text messages, photos, emails that lines up with her story. And that's why they went and got the raid to go access his computer, photos, phones, and all of this stuff because they they know they can get that information off of, off of his uh, electronics and stuff. That is what the officer is saying right here. He says the officer told the post, and I quote, that they're looking for photos, emails, text, itineraries is what they all, they snatched up hard drives, phones, and other evidence from P. Diddy's home. They were looking for phones, emails, text, itineraries, and hopefully actual names. It says there are specific communications that we are aware of that will be able to, that we will be able to access on the electronics. It says that the multi-agency investigation is being spearheaded by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. So that is, that is who's spearheading. Everybody keeps talking about, oh, ticket. This ain't the feds. It's somebody else. They're all working together against Diddy. They brought in Homeland. They brought in the feds. They brought in all the alphabet boys for P. Diddy. Let's keep going, y'all. And this, this is crazy because pe pe he, people was upset about money. So they went to tear everything down about everything else that they had. They was there for down with this man because of a money dispute because of a money dispute so let me get back to this it says that on monday search it was executed by the homeland security investigators in a statement dyer decried dhs raids right as a gross overuse and that is p diddy's representative right of gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at mr holmes residence and vowed that Diddy would clear his name. In addition to the search, authorities are interviewing. Now listen to this. In addition to the search, authorities are interviewing alleged victims and witnesses. They got witnesses too, bro. That guy, they got witnesses. They say they're interviewing witnesses. They say right now they're interviewing witnesses. It says including, these are the witnesses they're, they're, they're interviewing right now. It says they have three women and one man who are suing P. Diddy that they're cooperating with right now. They're interviewing. They're interviewing Diddy. I mean, Cassie, uh, what you call, just confirm that. Um, Gene Deal just confirmed that Cassie's working with the feds against Diddy. They're also uh, working, uh, talking to Lil Rod, the producer. He's working with the feds, according to this report right here from uh, the H, uh, home HSI officer. And also the other people who filed lawsuits against Diddy, they're working with them. And they're also uh, interviewing witnesses as well and other alleged victims.
This is crazy. Uh, it says that, um, so it says that in addition to the search, authorities are, are interviewing the alleged victims and witnesses, including three women and one man who are suing Diddy in silver courts, according to the sources. And also, Gene Deal has just came out and said he's working with the, the authorities too. Uh, also, it says the DHS operative says that those who have been interviewed for the investigation have been very thorough and detailed. He's done, bro. It said that the DHS operative said that Department of Homeland Security operative said that those who have been interviewed for the investigation have been very thorough and detailed. He said that's the funny thing about victims. They may be reluctant to speak at first, but once they start talking, they talk. They talk a lot. We're getting a lot of cooperation from a lot of people who want to see him brought to justice. P. Diddy got a whole army of people against him, y'all. He got a whole army of people that's testifying against him, bro. I told y'all this. All, the people that have money disputes with Diddy have turned on him and are testifying to the feds, and they naming names. And they're also giving other details, financial details, all of these things to the feds. That's the reason why they got the warrant. It says Diddy was stopped from boarding a private jet out of the U.S. So Diddy was getting ready to leave the U.S., according to this report right here. It says Diddy was stopped from boarding a private jet out of the U.S. on Monday and is believed to have remained in Florida since. So Diddy has stayed in Florida since they blocked him from leaving the country, right? It says, however, despite the raids attracting a great deal of attention, he remains a free man right now. The officer said he's not under arrest. He's under investigation. And the law enforcement has made that clear. Uh, he says he is free right now to do whatever he wants. He says, but he is aware that if the charges come down, we will get him wherever he is. Let me read this quote again. It says he is free right now to do what he wants. But he is aware that if charges come down, we will get him wherever he is i'm gonna tell y'all right now man it's over dog they snitched on him bro they ratted on this dude they turned on this dude bro people that was around him they had issues with this dude with money they turned on this cat man and i'm talking about not turned on him just about money they made this shit personal now you know what i mean they they went and they saying and, and listen they they the fed saying that they gave him detailed information the Fed, the Fed, the, the, the off. This is the officer talking right here. This ain't me. This ain't nobody on YouTube. This ain't nobody on the internet. This is the Fed talking right here. The, the, the Homeland Security officer. He said the reason why they had a warrant to search P. Diddy's home is because they were given enough evidence through allegations and witnesses, and they were given detailed statements and testimony of acts. They have spoken with victims and they have spoken with informants on this situation, man. This is crazy, man. And they said that the informants include people, the people who sued P. Diddy that you guys know. Uh, Gene Deal, again, he just went out again and said he is cooperating with the feds to convict P. Diddy. Also, uh, he said Cassie is working with the feds to convict P. Diddy. It's over with, man. Cassie was there. They go, bro. They go, man, bro. This is they going, bro. Anything that they gonna try and tell everything, man. They gonna try and tell everything on this dude, bro. I mean, they had to. You have to have evidence or or have a legitimate claim for them to be able to go get that warrant like that, bro. And they said they told Diddy it don't matter where he go that they gonna get him. This the officer said right now, and I quote: He said he is free right now to do what he wants. But he is aware that if he if charges come down, we will get him wherever he is. That's what they said. Now, some people think that you could just disappear, you know what I'm saying? And maybe you can, but it's gonna be hard because they said Homeland Security have been talking with all these other countries to deter and prevent this from happening. This is unbelievable, man. They they turn on them, yo. Gene Deal just went and admitted right now that he is currently cooperating with the feds. He said he's will. Gene Deal just said he's willing to give the feds all the information they need to convict Diddy. He just said it. 
Again, he just said it again. He just said it again. He just said it again, bro. It's over with, man. And so he, Gene Deal said, I will testify against Diddy and expose everything. That's exactly what he just said. And he said Cassie will testify against him too. And he said Cassie's going to expose everything too. It's, Cassie know Cassie probably know every in and out of the, all the uh, mansions. He says Cassie's going to get on the stand and testify against P. Diddy. And he said he is too. That's, that's, that's it, man. That's it, bro. And 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 uh, the Homeland Security officer said they got detailed information, detailed uh, reports, detailed uh, uh, um, stories uh, about the situation, and they got detailed uh, uh, enough detail to where they can go in, get the search warrant, and get the evidence they need to uh, file. Uh, I mean, to uh, arrest P Diddy and charge him. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. And I'm just telling you guys what it is, man. Like. You know, these people had a, a money problem with P. Diddy. They had a money problem with P. Diddy. And they instead of them saying, I want to get the money, they said, nah, we're going to snitch on everything you're doing to tear you down, even though most of these people were standing with Diddy. That's the craziest part about the whole situation. Most of these people were standing with Puff. So the, most of these people that snitching on Puff, they was with Puff at the, they was with Puff at all this stuff. So how is you turning around now? How is you turning around now that the, the money didn't work out and bringing everything else into it when y'all was there? I'm telling you what the officer said right now, Homeland. This, this report just came out right now from Homeland Security officer himself. He said, he said, we're, we became aware of certain allegations during the course of civil suits. So, no, they weren't investigating P. Diddy for over a year. They just started this investigation uh, when Cassie dropped that lawsuit in November. So, November, December, January, February, we in March. They've been investigating this dude since Cassie dropped the lawsuit. Right? He said it right here. He said it right here. He said, we became aware of certain allegations during the course of civil suits against Mr. Combs. He says, you have to understand that we, did, we didn't just decide on a whim to search his house. A federal judge had to sign off. This isn't a witch hunt. To the dude said he going to Bali, that doesn't mean nothing. They just served uh, 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 old boy in Bali with court papers. They walked right up in Russell Simmons' uh business in Bali and served him with court papers yesterday. That don't mean nothing. Him being in Bali don't mean nothing. Shout out to the brother just sent a hundred dollar donation, man. Shout out to Jeffrey, man. Appreciate you, dog. Salute to you, man. Ain't no message, but salute to you, my brother. You sent a hundred dollar donation to the cash app. Appreciate it, man. Um, you said, why do I keep defending him? I've never defended him. What are you talking about, bro? I don't defend no foolishness, man. Get the hell off my channel, bro. Have you ever heard me defending Diddy? You damn fool. I said the people that was around him that was doing some of the same things they're accusing him of now turned on him over money. That's what I said. Does that have anything of me saying, oh, yeah, man, I agree with Puff. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Block. What's wrong with these people? What's wrong with you? You have listening skills? They, he, if he owe you money, go get the money. That's like if, me, that's like if we commit a crime together. We, we both commit a crime together, right? You don't give me my half of the money after we commit the crime, right? Instead of me beefing with you about the money, I go snitch on the whole crime. And I was there doing it too. But I roll on you so you get all the time. Because you the big dog. That's what they did to Puff. That's what they doing to Puff. Th these are facts. 
Gene Deal just said that he is go he is currently cooperating with the feds and he is going to testify in court against P. Diddy and tell everything he knows. Cassie as well is cooperating and working with the feds right now. That is the reason why they got the warrant. If Cassie goes to the feds and says, this happened to me, I was, she's already claimed that Diddy used her. That, that was her claim in a lawsuit. So she's told that to the feds. She was with Diddy smiling in the pictures, but now with the when the money's involved, she becomes a victim. Because she says, oh no, he did this. But she was smiling in those pictures. That's not a lie. That's not a lie. I got the pictures online. That's not a lot. So when it came to money, they turned on them. That's not a lot. So that's why I asked y'all the other day, I said, yo, do you think if Puff would have kept paying them, any of these people will be out here testifying against Puff. So everybody, I, think about this. Keep it real. Keep it real. Hey, I see somebody today give him a bad my boy seven eight. Oh man, you kept it, man. Uh, what are you talking about? He wasn't lying. He wasn't lying. Them people had a problem with Diddy over money. Instead of them going and trying to get their money and leaving it at that because they were with this dude smiling in pictures, chilling the whole time. Now that you had a money problem, because if it wasn't about the money, don't you think they would have been went to the authorities first? Y'all make it make sense. So now the people took it so personal, the money issue, now they've all flipped on P. Diddy and trying to get him locked down for the rest of his life. This is the truth. That's why you hear all these people coming out now with testimonies. All these people, you ain't heard one person come out against Diddy that didn't say they had a money, that did, that did not have a money issue here or there with Puff. You ain't heard one person come out and say, hey man, I'm just doing this because of morals and ethics. You ain't heard them. Everybody that's coming out here talking about Diddy had a money problem with him on that level. All of them. Some of them took it to a different level. Some of them just kept it with the money. The ones that took it to the different level is the ones that's out here turning state, going to the feds. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You understand? You said Cassie got away. Cassie was smiling with the man. While all this is going on, she's going to events smiling, million dollar uh, outfits, the finest shoes in the, in the line, all of this stuff. What are you guys talking about? I watched it with my own eyes. I watched it. Now you now y'all want to come out here. Now, see, that's the thing. Ain't nobody asked Cassie, hey Cassie, if you never had a money problem with Puff, or if you never had a money issue, would you have came out? Because she sued him. If it wasn't about the money, would you have ever said any of the, the producer Lil Rod? The man came out first and said that Diddy owed him money. I ain't heard one person come out and say, yo, man, uh, I'm coming out to, to testify because morally this was wrong. I ain't looking for no money. I just want to be a good citizen. I ain't heard none of that. 
Th this is real talk. This is not something I'm making up. I seen, and see, that's why I be trying to tell y'all, bro, go and look at all the pictures Cassie on this man arm smiling. All this stuff she had claimed was going on all that time. Did, why? See, if I'm a lawyer for people, why didn't you have a problem with it then? Why you didn't have a problem with it then? The minute you was out the picture and, and another chick was the main chick, now you, now you upset. Make it make sense. And no, I'm not saying that it's okay if anybody got done wrong. No, it's not. It's wrong. It's wrong. But don't come out here telling me some moral talk. When they was cool. When they was cool. Now you turn on the man when you had a money issue. You turn on the man when you had a money issue. Now y'all don't try to tie the man up in weapons. You don't try to tie him up in drugs. You don't try to tie him up in other alleged activities. This is all the stuff they're saying. The, the, the HSI officer said it right here. He said that when they went to his house to search, they went specific. Look at what he said. He said that we are responding to concrete, detailed, and explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat, he said. We had allegations that we were following up on. That's exactly what the HS officer just said. He said, we became aware of certain allegations during the course of civil suits against Mr. Combs. You have to understand that we didn't just decide on a whim to search his home. A federal judge had to sign off. This isn't a witch hunt. You know what this is? All them people that, that was around. And we, you know what? I just thought about this. We talk, Everybody, somebody said, oh, man, y'all trying to help tear a black man down. Guess what? Because this is what black folks do. But guess what? Y'all wonder why it's still a lot of the other people that's not getting told out. You know why? Because more of them stick together. You ain't seeing too many of them coming out trying to throw these other guys under the bus. Who's the guy we just talking about in the wrestling world? They got the allegations against him. Vince McMahon got allegations against him. Do you have any of those people right now that's going to court testifying to the feds, trying to get him? No, you. we haven't said, heard it. But you got, we got people out here on YouTube claiming that they're willing to go testify to the feds against Puff. These are facts. Right? So, yes. Yes, that it is wrong. It's wrong with Puff being accused of. Yes. But guess what? He ain't the only one if all these people flipping on him that were there. Make it make sense. So you was there until the money wasn't there. But it's all P. Diddy, right? Make it make sense. And what the law allows you to do is Y'all ain't going to look at them other people that's turning and snitching on Puff that was there allegedly. Right? You ain't going to look at them the same as you look at Puff. You're going to just put, oh, yeah, man, it's, it's just Puff. Yeah, look at all the people that flipped on Puff. That was there. That was supposed to be there. Right? Just think about it. Think about it. Think about that. The moral of the story is Puff probably should just pay these people their money and then none of this stuff would have probably you would have never heard none of this stuff. You know why? Because the people don't care about morals and ethics in the world we live in. You know what they care about? They care about the might, almighty dollar. And that's the biggest truth that you got going in this world. They care about the almighty dollar. So when somebody pockets feel light, or they feel like they ain't eating enough, you always gonna have a problem. Whatever level it's gonna be on. 
And I tell people this over and over. They don't want to listen, man. So now, Kathy, in my opinion, to I want to hear her role in this. Because if if it was alleged, because if it was alleged that she was helping transport this or that, whatever, shouldn't she be charged too? Or they're gonna let all these other people off the hook for testimony, even though they allegedly was either a victim or a part of this thing. I ain't talking about the victims being charged, I'm talking about the people that was allegedly a part of this thing. They get to flip. Everybody get to let Diddy take the whole fall when these people standing right there and all them people gonna turn on the man. I make it make sense. Make it make sense. And it shows y'all what money will make you do. It shows y'all what money will make you do. You know? And so now, I told y'all, the witness list is going to be crazy. The, 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 this, the HS officer just said this. He says that the, he, the officer said that they were looking for photos, emails, texts, and hopefully names. There are specific communications that we are aware of. That's it. That's exactly what you just said. He said there are specific communications that we are aware of. You know what that means? That means Cassie. Gave phone records, text records. Man, y'all never know what puffing them got on them text messages, man. He never thought it was going to come to this. You never know what is on voice messages. All of these different things. You never know. The, the Homeland Security officer says that they have There are specific communications that we are aware of. And he says, we'll be able to access them on the electronics. It's, it's over. They got Diddy's electronics. That's why they got the, the search warrant, because they needed to get Diddy's electronics to get the evidence they need to file charges against them. That, that helps the, their case right there. So if Kathy told the feds, her and Lil Rod and them told the feds, that this is where Diddy keeps his information. This is where this, and they went in and specifically got that stuff. It's over with. They had to have told the feds that. They had to have given the feds enough specific information for them to go in and get that. Get uh, go in and raid his crib. They had to. Peep this now, y'all. They didn't raid his offices. They raided the two cribs. Now, how many houses y'all think Diddy got? You think Diddy only got two houses? They only raided two houses. This was specific targeting. They knew exactly what they was looking for. They got told. They got told. And somebody said, oh, well, uh, Diddy knew what was, Diddy didn't know what was up. They ain't, you can't convince me that P. Diddy is at the airport with the, with the, the, um, the other boy that played at Syracuse He's, you can't, you cannot convince me that Diddy is at the airport with this dude and this boy got something in his bag he get arrested for. When he got arrested, y'all, he was with Diddy at the airport. Make it make sense, y'all. When the man got arrested, y'all, see, I'm going to show y'all something. Y'all didn't see it in that other picture. But TMZ released the video later on. Y'all didn't see it in this picture right here. When the feds ran up, P. Diddy was there. And so was that boy right here. P. Diddy was, was there, right there getting ready to board the plane, according to the reports. And that boy was there. That boy's the one who had the stuff in his bag. You think P. Diddy going to be close to this dude if he knew the feds was on him? Make it make sense, man. They targeted two of that man's cribs, bro. Because Cassie and them told. You ain't got to listen to me. Listen to the officer. The officer said that the, 
the, the, the people who filed the lawsuits have given full cooperation, detailed uh, uh, information, and enough information to for warrants. And they said he also talked to witnesses as well. Straight up. They said it's three women and a man and a man that sued P. Diddy that, that, that that's cooperating them right now. And they said they got witnesses as well. They said they got concrete. They says it right here. That's that's what the D, uh, Department of Homeland Security officer said today. He said that's a and, and listen to this quote. And I told y'all this. Listen to the quote. It says that's a funny thing about victims. He said, and I quote, they may be reluctant to speak at first, but once they start talking, they talk. They talk a lot. We're getting a lot of cooperation from a lot of people who want to see him brought to justice. That's it. That is exactly what the Homeland Security officer just said. They're getting cooperation from a lot of people. I did not tell y'all that this morning, that they're going to have a line of people that y'all never expected testifying against this dude. You know why? Because with the feds, they come and try to throw charges on everybody. And they're going to say, look, man, we're going to let your charges up or we're going to lighten your sentence if you roll on, on Puff. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. Uh, this person says he was wholesomely about to take, go to spring break. Nah. They, they said they got witnesses that are testifying against him right now. This is crazy, bro. They said they got witnesses. I'm reading it right here. They said they got witnesses, man. They said they got uh, uh, um, victims, and they said they have witness testimony. And they have the testimony from, uh, and they're having a cooperation from those who filed the lawsuit. That is the reason why they got the warrant. The Homeland Security officer just said it today. I'm reading to y'all exactly what he just said. He said, he just told the Post, these are the reasons why they raided Puff's home. You don't want to believe me? I'll put on the screen right now for y'all. Because I know somebody's going to say, oh, man, Tiki, you capping, man. No, I'm not. I'm about to put it on here for y'all right now. I'm about to put it on here for, for y'all right now on the screen. I want everybody to look at this video on the screen. On the, on the screen. I'm put on for y'all right now on the screen just so they can't say, yo, Tiki, you capping. I'm, I'm going to put it on here right on the screen. Because I know they're going to try and say I'm capping when I'm saying this. And the officer just came out and said this. He just came out and said this. Bro, David, shut up. Homeland Security, not the feds. They're all working together. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with these people? Homeland Security is working with the feds on this case. The officer just told you. I've been telling y'all that. What is wrong with these people on social media? Y'all don't know this? It ain't just Homeland Security. They have multiple departments working on this. Why do we have a lack of knowledge in our community? Why? 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 I'm put on screen though. Cause I'm tired of you dudes. I'm put on screen. I'm tired of y'all. I'm put on screen right now. I'm screenshotting it right now. I'm put on screen right now. I'm tired of y'all, bro. It's a lot of people online, man, that just don't know nothing, man. It's sad, bro. We in the year of 2024, and people can't comprehend common. Common sense. I'm going to put on screen, though. Just so y'all can see, I was never capping. I'm put on screen right now. So let's get to it, y'all. Let me go ahead and put this on the screen right now because I already know that the cap is coming. All right. Let me get this off. This off. And this off. Let me put this up here right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give y'all the breakdown right now. So everybody can see what I'm talking about, right? All right. So let's start right here. We're going to start right here with this one right here. 
All right. So I'm gonna put this on the screen for y'all just so y'all can see I was never capping. Right? I want y'all to be able to see this. Right? We're we gonna get to this today right now. Because see, I'm tired of YouTube and people on YouTube running around here telling lies. Oh, oh, they don't know what they're doing. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind, bro? You think the feds just gonna waste time and money and they don't know what the hell they're doing? Or they don't have no evidence. Or they don't have nothing, bro. They got witnesses, evidence, statements, all kind of stuff, bro. They ain't just wasting their time on you. People snitched on Puff. That's the reason why they're going after Puff. Y'all, y'all say, hey, why they ain't going after nobody else? Because the other dudes, their circles is more tighter. It's just true. They circles is more tighter. And guess what? They people paid on time. This is this is the truth. You see it right there on your screen? It says, according to the post, an officer with the Department of Homeland Security told the post that the case has been active for several weeks as authorities investigate a range of allegations against the 54-year-old rapper and mogul. We believe that there, and y'all smash the like button, listen, we should have well over a thousand likes right now. We believe that there is a disturbing history of blank trafficking, said the Miami-based officer who spoke under the condition of anonymity, right? Anonymity, whatever. How, hey, I don't even know how the hell you pronounce that. He's anonymous, officer, right? He says, right, right, I, I want y'all to read what he said right here. Read what he said. Read what he said, right? So can y'all tell me, would that say on y'all screen so y'all can see that I was never capping, right? Now, now look, look what he says right here, y'all. I need everybody to put on your thinking caps. I need that. I need that from y'all. I really need it. Right? Y'all see what it say. We ain't gonna cap, we ain't gonna front. We're gonna stay, keep it solid, right? He said this is not random. Read that. Read your screen. So y'all can stop running around here thinking dudes is capping. Read your screen, y'all. This is not random. Right? Everybody needs to understand this. So let's start right here at the top. From right here, right? So it says, we are responding to concrete, and it's under quotes. Concrete. This ain't no, oh, no, nah, this is this is cases flimsy, all this other stuff. BS that Kat's been telling y'all on YouTube. No. So we are responding to concrete, detailed, Explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we're following up on. The public first became aware of the allegations against Diddy when his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, filed a federal civil suit Against him in November last year. Shout out to my boy Showtime on Point Sports in the building. Salute to his brother. Y'all go subscribe to his channel. Oh, we just cooking on what the uh, uh, Homeland Security just said about Puff. They basically said that he, his ass is toast. It says that the case was settled out of court the next day, but has been followed by three further lawsuits alleging blanketed assault, of all of which Diddy strongly denied. It goes on. Let's go on, right? He has also not been charged with any crime or wrongdoing at this stage. Read the quote. We became, oh, this is, the, this is the Homeland Security officer talking. We became aware, right? Right, right, right. Y'all keep talking about somebody. Hey, hey, yo, get on my channel, bro. We became aware of certain allegations during the course of civil suits against Mr. Combs, said the officer. You have to understand 
that we just didn't decide on a whim to search his homes. A federal judge had to sign off. This isn't a witch hunt. On Monday, when Homeland Security agents raided Combs mansions in both L.A. and Miami, they confiscated hard drives, phones, and other evidence. So they did get hard drives out of his house. They got phones out of his house. And they got other evidence out of his house. Right? So let's keep going, right? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It says the officer tells the post that they are looking for photos, emails, text, itineraries, hopefully names. You know what that means? They're building up the trafficking case because they're looking for photos because that's what they were told by the witnesses and all the people that's testifying against Puff. That there are photos, emails, texts, itineraries, and all kind of stuff to back this thing up. Hopefully names, right? Right? It said there are specific communications. This is it right here. This is the line that destroys everything. The officer said there are the specific communications that we are aware of that we will be able to access on the electronics. In order for them to get the warrant, they had to convince the judge that if they got Diddy's electronics, they will get the case against him. That, that's all you need to know. If don't nobody understand that, if you, I, I, I want to be, I want to be honest with everybody listening to this video. If they don't have the common sense to understand what he just said on that line, it's over with. Look, look at this one more time, y'all. Right? They are looking. For photos, this is what the this is what the feds and Homeland Security are looking for, bro. Stop telling me to see Murder Inc. Murder Inc. had a whole different situation, brother. Get out of my channel, bro. They are looking for photos, emails, texts, itineraries, hopefully names. There are specific communications that we are aware of that we will be able to access. On the electronics, it's over with. That line from the agent himself from Homeland Security. That's it. They're looking for specific communications that they convinced the judge and the U.S. court. Right? They convinced the judge to give them the warrant because they knew from the testimony of witnesses, testimony of Cassie, testimony of uh Lil Rod and all these other people that's involved in these cases that they could match information through his photos, emails, text, itineraries with the information that they gave to him. Because you know when the feds come, they want to make sure they got an open and shut case. Straight up. They want to make sure the case is open and shut. Right. Here's the thing that you guys got to understand. When you erase your emails and stuff, that stuff is never erased. It's a it's a data print. Once you send that stuff out, you think you can erase it. Guess what? The email company can always keep your. For let me give you an example. If you send a text to somebody, right? You send a text message. To somebody, right? You may erase the text message in your phone. If you call somebody, right? Let's say you call somebody on your phone, right? You're doing some type of deal. You can erase the call history in your phone. Guess what you can't do? You can't erase it in the, in the phone company's uh, records. You can't erase that that call was made from the phone towers. You can't erase where that call was made from. You can erase it on your phone. But guess what? That's why they didn't say nothing about his phone. I mean, his. they didn't say anything about two things. They didn't say anything about his bank records. You know why? Because they didn't need to access that through his house. They can access his bank records just by going to the bank. They didn't need to raid his house to get his bank records. All they had to do to get his bank records is to get a warrant. 
That's all he had to do. Straight up. They had bank records to get a warrant. Right? They said they had specific communications that they were aware of that we were able to access on the electronics, that we will be able to. So by the time they go through all those electronics and get the information they were looking for, bro, again, this is what you do to build up a case. The multi-agency investigation. See, this is for all the dudes that was capping at me, talking about, oh, ticket, it ain't the feds, man. It is the feds, man. It's the feds. It's Homeland Security. They all working together, man. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Read, I want you to understand words when you read words, man. The multi-agency investigation. Right? The multi-agency. Read that. Investigation is being spearheaded. So what does spearheaded mean? I know some of y'all did not graduate from high school. But that's why I'm here to explain what some of these words mean. So when they said spearhead, that means that the U.S. Attorney's Office is the one who's leading all of these different groups underneath him in this investigation. Right? What does that say? That says RICO. When it goes up to the U.S. Attorney's, normally it's a RICO charge. Right? Right? U.S. Attorney. Right? So that means when you talk about the alphabet boys, they got different alphabet boys for different reasons. They got the DEA, which is the drug police, right? Right? They got the CIA. Y'all know what's up with that. You got the FBI. That's the feds, the Federal Bureau of Investigations. You got the HSI. That's Homeland Security. All of these different entities. That's why they call them the alphabet boys, because they got abbreviations. All these different entities serve different purposes. They're specializing in different purposes. So, yes, Homeland Security was in Didi's home, but they were also aided by the feds. Why? Because this is a federal investigation. This is not state no more. This is a federal investigation. This is what you guys don't understand. A lot of y'all. So when y'all was just when y'all hear people say, oh, they don't really have anything. They don't know. Like, what the hell are you talking about? You think the feds and them gonna decide? You think they're gonna sign paperwork? Bro, if they did that, they're giving Diddy a lawsuit to sue them. Niches. Simple as that. I told y'all, this is all about money. It's all about money. They got snitches. People turned on Puff that was around there. You know what I mean? People that was around turned on Puff. And I told y'all this. When Kathy came out and filed that lawsuit, as soon as people saw that Kathy got a settlement within 24 hours, I said it's over. Go back and listen to the day Kathy filed the lawsuit. I said it's over for Puff. Because now people see that you settled in one day. They're going to come. That's why I told y'all. When y'all look at these other dudes. We, uh, my boy Seven Eight. We all put so much respect on that press guy in them name. You know why? Uh, on, uh, excuse me, on, um, on Michael Irvin in them name. You know why? Because soon as they accused, soon as that lady accused Michael Irvin, right? And Michael Irvin, uh, got pulled off TV, and everybody was dissing Michael Irvin. What did Michael Irvin do? He fought back. He didn't just stand there and let them people tear his character. He sued their ass for defamation, and guess what? He won. Right? This is the type of stuff y'all got to think about. When Diddy settled out after one day, you're done. You're done. I knew he was done. One day? So imagine with everybody else, anybody else that had a problem with Diddy that saw that was like, yo, this man, she got $50 million in a day? Oh, hell no. I'm suing him, telling everything. Now, this is why we're at where we're at. It wasn't about morals and ethics and people wanting to come forward because I want to help. Because a lot of these people was there. The whole time, it was cool. It was cool until they wasn't at the top of the food chain. Until they wasn't 
getting the bread. That's what y'all got to realize. So now, people who were complicit in these things, they get to turn and roll all puff and walk free. Think about this now, right? Uh, to the person who said Homeland Security is running this, they're not running it. The U.S. Attorney's Office is running this. Homeland Security is not running this. Y'all keep thinking Homeland Security is running this. The multi, read your screen right there, dog. The multi, this, this is the Homeland Security officer telling you who's running this. This is him speaking. The multi-agency investigation, because there's many agencies. It ain't just Homeland Security. It's the Feds too, the FBI, Federal Bureau Investigations. They all working together, the different company, different entities, right? They're all working under the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, right? Multi-agency investigation is being spearheaded by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. So it's all coming from the Southern District of New York U.S. Attorney's Office. That's the part y'all are failing to read. Now let's go to the next part. Because this is the part where it gets uglier than a masterpiece sneaker, right? Now, what does it say? For you guys who, who can't read it because it's too small for y'all, smash the like button. It says right here, as you guys can see, in a statement on Tuesday, P. Diddy's lawyer, Mr. Dyer, decried the Department of Homeland Security raised as a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences and vowed that P. Diddy would clear his name. In addition to the search, authorities, now read this part. Read this part right here, y'all. In addition to the search, authorities are interviewing alleged victims and witnesses. Witnesses. They got people who are witnessing who are testifying against Puff. That's it. So you got people who are saying they were victims, and you got people who are saying, yeah, I witnessed that. So if you, let's say you saw somebody do, commit a crime. Well, what's the first thing the police do? They walk around and talk to the witnesses. That's what's going on right now. They talk to witnesses and people who claim they were there. Right? Because why? People like probably Cassie and them people giving people's names. I'm just telling y'all what it is. People like Cassie and them probably naming people who was there and witnessed this. Because when you go give a story, you have to have witnesses to corroborate your story. And you have to also have evidence to corroborate your story. So what happens is, is when Cassie and Gene Deal and these people talk to the feds and they name names of people who was there, those people turn out to be witnesses. Then the feds go talk to the witnesses to see if the witnesses corroborate the story of the alleged victims. Then if the witnesses corroborate the stories of the witnesses, guess what? If the witnesses have given enough specific information that is deemed, that is deemed reliable, respectable, and true, that gives cause for Homeland Security and the FBI to go to the court, to go to the court and ask for a warrant to search the properties of P. Diddy. And peep this, they knew what they were looking for because guess why, y'all? They did not raid P. Diddy's offices. He's got offices. They did not raid all of P. Diddy's homes. They only raided two specific homes. P. Diddy has multiple properties. They only raided two of them because the officer said they knew exactly what they were looking for. Read the quotes. Read the quotes. Right? Right? Read what it says, y'all. The Department of Homeland Security, the DHS operative, said those who had been interviewed for the investigation have been very thorough and detailed. Gene Deal's online right now telling y'all he don't told the feds everything they need to know. Detail by detail. He's told you, Kathy has told the feds 
everything they need to know, detail by detail, names, how things happen, allegedly all of these things. Right? He said that's a funny thing about the victims. They may be reluctant to speak at first, but once they start talking, they talk. They talk a lot. We're getting a lot of, co Let, read this right here, y'all. We're getting a lot of cooperation from a lot of people who want to see Diddy brought to justice. That means P. Diddy have ticked so many people off in his own circle, right? This is when you mistreating people. This is when you're not paying people. This is when you're treating people allegedly like you know what, and they tired of it. So they all turn on you and come against you and try to tear you down. So what do they do? They try to come out and tell some of your deepest, darkest secrets, even if they were a part of them. Right? And y'all say, oh, well, the other men, they ain't getting tore down out yet. You know why? Because they paying their people. That's why y'all criticize certain people from going from certain. Remember I told y'all, let me take this to a whole different. Let me get a whole different example real quick. Let's go to college football, right? Now, all these people came out here and talked down like Deion Sanders, like a dog when he left the HBCU, right? They talked about Deion like a dog. But think about this. His things were allegedly stolen out of the office. There was alleged money issues with him, only with black folks. But guess what? I guarantee you he ain't missed no paycheck over at Colorado. But people don't want to keep it real. They want you to stay in situations where it's foolishness going on. People telling you to invest in this company, invest in that company. And you trying to show your own people love. Donate to this school. Donate to that school. I'm just telling y'all. Right? But you don't have those issues with them other folks. This is why. You know why? Because cash is up. Everybody eat. The minute people, this is the same way it goes in the streets, bro. Bro, you can be cool, bro. You can have a hundred goons rolling with you, bro. A hundred goons that's right, that's willing to ride for you and do whatever for you, bro. As soon as them wolves feel like they hungry, they ain't being fed, bro, they'll turn on you and you'll be the food. It don't matter how long you did hold them down. This is, this is what's going on with Diddy in a different level. Guys don't see it. A lot of y'all don't see it. Right? It says Diddy, and then people lied about Diddy. Right? It says Diddy was stopped from boarding a private jet outside of the U.S. on Monday and is believed to have remained in Florida since. He was getting ready to get on a private jet and fly out. Why y'all think they did the raid then? They probably had the eye on Diddy, watching Diddy, knowing he was going to the airport, and they probably said, look, we got to do it now. They probably already had that raid set up before a different time. But as soon as they seen Diddy was going to get up out of there, boop, snatch his ass up right now at the airport. Jack everybody up and search they, they stuff. And look what they did. They jacked that boy up. And they found that stuff on him. Do y'all not know who he is? Do y'all not know who he is? Huh? Do y'all not know who he is? Do y'all not know who this boy is? This boy's name is Brendan Paul. Do y'all remember who he is? He played for the University of Syracuse, Orangeman. Y'all forgot about that? Y'all forgot? You know why? You probably never really saw him because his, he didn't get that much playing time. So he went from being with the Syracuse Orangeman and a basketball player to now allegedly running with P. Diddy, run the city, show no pity. Right? And the, and the feds caught him with Puff at the airport. The video's online. TMZ posted a video 
of the body cam. It's online. Right? So y'all seeing this. Let me put this on the screen too so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Y'all not going to believe. And y'all think this boy ain't fitting the role? Y'all think he not fitting the role? He finna get his role on. That's been right there, Brendan Paul. He finna get his role on. See, y'all didn't know that. Y'all ain't know he played for the University of Syracuse. Right out of New York. Right out of New York. You think his parents? <laughs> let me say this to y'all again. You think his parents gonna let him do fed time? You think his family gonna let him do fed time? That's what y'all think? You think his parents fit to let him do fed time? That man gonna start singing like Justin Timberlake. Oh, he gonna start singing. You better believe that. You better believe that. And if y'all look, right? Right? You guys need to do y'all homework, right? Right? Look at what he was, the drug he was caught with, right? Right? So, in Florida, because that's where they were at, right? In Florida, right? Right? Let me put this up here on the screen for y'all. Right? This is amongst... Let me put this on the screen. Because I don't want people to think I'm capping. I'm going to put this on the screen for y'all. I'm going to educate y'all on something. Right now. Because of what he was caught with, right? In Florida, the blank, we're, gonna, we're just going to name it as the C. Related offenses are taken very seriously. The state imposes strict laws and penalties to combat the use and dis distribution of this blank substance blank charges can range from possession to trafficking each carry its own set of legal ramifications right right okay, okay. so now let's go into this right 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 being found in possession of this C word in Florida can lead to significant legal consequences. The severity of the charge typically depends on the amount of blank in the possession. But possessing less than 28 grams is considered a third degree felony. Discharge can result in prison, probation, fines, or a combination. Even a small amount of this can lead to serious charges because of the state's zero tolerance policy towards controlled substances, right? Now, I want y'all to listen to this because I'm finna give y'all the time right now, right? The sentencing guidelines state that a person will face these sentences up to three years for 28 to 200 grams and a $50,000 fine. Seven years for 200 to 400 grams and a hundred thousand dollar fine. Fifteen years and a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine for 400 to 100, 400 grams to 150 keys, and for more than 150 keys, life. Right. It says anyone facing these charges should ensure. They understand precisely what sentencing risks they are facing because mandatory minimums sometimes apply. In this case, they're going to make sure it applies.
because this is a fair case. This is a fair case. And they said he copped to it being in his bag. Right? Now, not only that, you got the producer, Lil Rod, accusing this dude of transporting weapons as well. Now, if they can tie that up into Diddy, this right here, but this is what Lil Rod and all them dudes are telling the police or the feds. Right? Those were some of the allegations that you heard about Cassie, that Cassie was used to carry certain things on her allegedly. Right? If that's the case, and Cassie goes to the Fed, went to the feds like she has been. See, this is the thing. Y'all need to think about this. Cassie could go to the feds and say, hey, I, I was in fear of my, of my life. This is the reason why I did this. I didn't want to do it. I was forced to do it against my will, and I was afraid that if I went against him, then this would happen to me. Because if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm the lawyer for Diddy, I'm asking, well, why is you smiling in all these pictures with him? If you was going through so much distress, why is you in all these pictures smiling? Why you look like you're having a good old time in these pictures with him? Oh, well, I see, I had to do that. See, what she's going to try to do is, is paint Diddy to be the worst person that you've ever seen in the world. That's what she's going to do. That's what all these people are doing right now. Whether I know that or not, I don't know. I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there. But I tell you one thing, I know one thing, everybody's not lying. Everybody ain't lying. I just don't like people's motives. Because it ain't morality that y'all doing this. Y'all doing this about money. Y'all doing this about money. And here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? You said, shout out the real one. He said, Kathy loved Diddy because he didn't want kids. Remember, now it's something different. Yeah, it's about money, bro. When you're not living that lifestyle no more, the money runs dry, and you see, listen, let me tell y'all something about ladies, right? And and I got love and respect for all women that got love and respect for me. When you miss, when you listen, if Diddy's Kathy is Diddy's main chick, right? And then all of a sudden she ain't she watching these other chicks be his main chick, man, she gonna feel away. Especially if she didn't bounce back and get with a guy who is on that same level that can maybe support the same lifestyle that she had rolling with Puff. Remember, the guy that she's allegedly with, he ain't on that level no more. I mean, he's not on Puff's level financially. So she wasn't getting those same purse. Once you live that life, you, you kind of want to keep living that life. Now, because she has given information on Puff and released all his, their, their lawsuits, she will forever live that life now because she got a settlement. So she got her money another way. Right? It's going to be hard for a chick like that. Well, some of these dudes are simps anyway. But it's going to be hard for a chick like to bounce back once many people within the industry that have money like that know how you get how you was getting down. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So again, this is what's going on, man. This is what's going on, man. So that uh, to Get ready to end this. Y'all see it right there. It says, however, despite the raids attracting a great deal of attention, he remains a free man. It says, he is not under arrest. He is under investigation. The law or enforcement source made clear. He is free right now to do what he wants. But he is aware that if charges come down, we will get him wherever he is. And so, I mean, that, that last line... Let you know that they're prepared for wherever he tr may try to go. Because remember, he's going to leave out the country. So, I mean, bro, they, do, they, they snitched, bro. The same people that was rolling with him snitched on him, man. They snitched on him. You can see it right there. You can see it right there. It, it says it right here. They snitched on him. They became aware of the allegations during the course of civil suits. He said a federal judge signed off. It's not a witch hunt. 
You know what I mean? He said that they're looking for photos, emails, all this. It's over with, bro. It's over with, man. I mean, you know, the question is, is probably how much time is he going to get? If they charge him. Or when they charge him. It all depends. If and when they charge him. You know? I saw an uh, agent last night talking on TV said that he's most likely going to be charged. Uh, you said T.D. Jakes better watch out. No, he ain't. He's not going down. You said T.D. Jakes better watch out. T.D. Jakes' name ain't the only reason. And, and T.D. Jakes is in the lawsuit. Let me tell you how people capping on T.D. Jakes and lying and throwing T.D. Jakes like he is a part of the, the part, like the foolishness. Nope. You, you know what T.D. Jakes was accused of? He was accused of nothing. The lawsuit stated, see, this is how I know y'all don't read lawsuits. The lawsuit stated that T.D. P. Diddy was allegedly, allegedly trying to use T.D. Jakes' preacher status to clean up his image based off of all of the bad press he had been getting. So him hanging around T.D. Jakes was going to help his image out because he's hanging around the preacher. It said nothing about T. Jakes and no parties and doing all this other foolishness that y'all been out here talk, putting on this man's name. People, but people did not read that. What do you mean T. D. Jakes had his own demons? You don't know T. D. Jakes? Shut the hell up. You don't know anything about T. D. Jakes. You're blocked. You don't. You don't. All you hear is these lame rumors you putting out here. You ain't even read the paperwork. You ain't read the paper. You just do a bunch of clowns on YouTube that's gonna end up getting their ass sued. Because if you look at the, because because why would the man protect T.D. Jakes in a lawsuit? But tell him that snitch on everybody else. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? Why would he protect T.D. Jakes in a lawsuit but snitch on everybody else? Make it make sense. You guys lying on T.D. Jakes. The man in the lawsuit clearly stated that Puff intended to use T.D. Jakes to try to clean his image from the bad press he had been getting. So him putting himself around the preacher would make people look at him in a different light. Read the lawsuit, man. You guys don't read. Oh, oh T.D. Jakes is in the lawsuit too, ticket? Yeah, I read it. I actually read the lawsuit. I actually read the lawsuit. I actually read it. In fact, I wouldn't doubt if the feds interviewed T.D. Jakes. And asked him if he's seen anything or what do he know. But if you actually read the lawsuit, which is what I did, because I do my homework on this stuff before I come on YouTube running my mouth. Right? The lawsuit clearly states that P. Diddy allegedly was trying to use T.D. Jakes in order to boost his image because he's hanging around the preacher man. Somehow, all these people on YouTube took it. Oh, yeah, man. T.D. Jakes. Oh, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man. He in there, too, man. He doing it, man. Be quiet. Because if he on there and he in there, he going down, too. And he ain't, and he ain't in there. Read the lawsuit. 70-something pages. It's online. It's like reading a book. If you read all that stuff that's in that lawsuit, you're like, man, this dude really took time to, to snitch everything. Right? Then when he amended it, when they amended the parts of the lawsuit and put Cuba Gooden Jr. in there in a different light, also putting uh, 50... Uh, Baby mom's in there in a different man. That, that was it. That was it. So you said, do I think Puff gonna do time? Do I think that? Hell yeah, he gone. The hell you think? Yes. Once Cassie get up on the stand during the case and start crying, it's over. 
Then people gonna sit up there and say, well, how is she gonna lie when she admitted to doing certain things and she said she was forced? Did you read Cassie's lawsuit? Did you read a lawsuit? Once she get up on the stand and start testifying, and she gonna break, I got any amount of money, she gonna break down crying on the stand. That little producer, he probably gonna start crying on the stand. The only person I see that I that, that I think ain't gonna cry, that's gonna be up there with, I'm talking about with mean, I'm talking about with intentions to go for the gusto is Gene Deal. Gene Deal gonna go up that jump like he buried Bonds in his prime. That's how Gene Deal finna go up there. He finna go up there like he buried Bonds in his prime. Gene Deal finna go up there hitting everything out there. Oh, watch what I tell y'all. He gonna go up that jump with all kind of conviction. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. You can tell from why Gene Deal is really, because Gene Deal, all this time, he blamed Puff for big. He blamed how he alleged Puff treated him from him being able to protect Big. And a lot of people blame Gene Deal for that. When Gene Deal was Puff's bodyguard, not Big's, but he, he claimed he wanted to protect Big. And I truly believe Gene Deal have had sleepless nights since that day. He probably pictured that every single day in his mind, what happened. Gene was Puff's bodyguard. So Gene probably heard some stuff, seen some stuff, we don't know. And maybe he's doing this because of that reason. But you're only going to find out in court when Gene goes on a stand. So I'm just telling you guys what it is. May y'all get those likes up, man. You said content creators gonna eat, man. Listen, bro. This don't happen every day, brother. And everybody keeps saying, and I want y'all to really think about something. Really think about something, bro. If Diddy allegedly would have just paid all those people, because remember, even before this situation right now, and this is why y'all know it's levels to this. This right here, that what people, what these certain people are doing to Diddy is they hate P. Diddy at this point. I'm talking about hate Diddy because you've had other people that had disputes with Diddy over money that they may have seen things. They never talked about that. They only talked about the money. They only said, hey, man, Puff owe me money or he owe me money. They, they made those accusations. They never took it further than that, the money. It was always about the look, man, get my bread. But now when you see people talking about all this other stuff, now it's gotten personal beyond just money. It's went personal. See what I'm saying? With Gene Deal, I feel like the situation is personal because I feel like Gene Deal blame Puff for what happened to Big. He's done it in public. And I think Gene feel like he don't want to leave this earth without making sure that he avenge whatever he feel like he need to for that horrific night of what happened to, to Big. I think Gene saw a lot with the whole escalation of the East Coast, West Coast beef. I think Gene felt a lot. Like, certain things didn't have to happen. I think that. You know what I mean? I think that's the reason why Gene, people calling Gene a punk, this, that, and the third. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think we we wait till the trial. And then I think with whatever Gene going to say is going to make people feel different. Because I think Gene is going to try to bring out all of the things again with, with the big stuff. Like I said, man, you know, 
it's a lot, man. When somebody like that, when you lose somebody, when you lose big, big time, you know, people like Pac and Big, and it's on like, and you were working that night, but maybe you wasn't on him, but you was there, and that was in your camp and your crew. You you feel that, bro. And you felt like you could have did something different. But remember, every single time he talked about what Puff did, he basically talked about he, he accused Puff of humiliating him that night. Remember when he said that Puff made him? He told Puff he wanted to ride with what you call it. And Puff made him sit in the back of the uh sitting back of the whip. And he said, Gene six, Gene like six six. He said, Puff. <laughs> Only if you tall, you know what Gene talk about. He said, Puff. <laughs> he said, Puff put the seat all the way back. So he got to sit sideways. <laughs> he had to sit sideways, man. That's humiliation, bro. That's humiliation if that was true, bro. He said, Puff put the seat all the way back. So he couldn't even sit straight. He had to sit sideways. Just to fit in the whip. Dog, that's crazy. So, yeah, I think he feel a way. I think he feel a way. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Gene Deal said today, y'all go look at the Art of Dialogues channel. He just went on Art of Dialogues channel again an hour ago. And he said that he is cooperating with the feds. He said that he will uh, testify on the stand against Puff again, and he's giving all information to the feds. And remember, can't call Gene Dill a snitch because he's law enforcement. He was always law enforcement. Puff knew this. The only difference is, is that the times have changed. It's different now than it was then. You know what I'm saying? Now you got Me Too movement, all this other stuff out here now. Back then, you really didn't have that. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know what y'all feel, man. Y'all hit the like button, man. Share the video and subscribe to the channel. And don't y'all forget, man. Shout out to all the new subscribers on the podcast, man. We almost got 3,000 on the podcast. 3,000 subscribers. Y'all make sure y'all click that link. I pinned it at the top of the chat. But make sure y'all click that link. Go to www.patreon.com backslash ticket TV and subscribe to my podcast show today. Show love to your boy, man. I have some heat for y'all later on tomorrow or today. It just depends on whatever else. I got, I got to go take care of some business. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Smash that like button. Leave me a message and, and subscribe to the podcast. Link is pinned at the top. Holla, man. Hey, man. And I holla back, man.